He chose it. You picked them, yeah? Yeah. And so, then I exposed what he did, ignored. So you just read the verses, right? So would you? So is Christianity a pacifist religion then? No, oh, so, so, no oh. similar verses. Now, the now you're coming to Christianity. So can we agree that you can't defend your faith, and then we can I'm talk about Christianity? That. I'm just asking that what you've done, you can do for your own religion, no? What I've done, so it, I can do for my what, religion. It depends what lens you've seen it through. So now, so now, you've got to prove your claims yeah. from my Bible that it condones whatever you're saying it condones. Because I am showing you from the Quran yeah. that it condones it's violence, it condones killing people, and it condones slavery. Okay. I, I read the hadith for you. I read the Quran for you. What kind you of context do you want? Context. You didn't provide context. You read, you I, read, I read the hadith yes. and I read the Quran. Yeah. Daniel, you read one verse. So did you read the verse no, before no, or the reverse? Yeah, I did. I read Surah 928 yeah. and Surah 929. You read 29? And 28. You read 20. Do you, you want me to read 30? Do you want me to read 31? Chicken are very soon, yeah? Listen. We're talking about Surah 9, Surah al Tawbah, that it condones violence. Now, these Muslims, they're trying to say, no, it doesn't condone violence. And they're trying to cover up by going to the Bible, trying to show me that the Bible is violent. But they can't show me. So, we're talking about that. So, so let me read for you Surah 9 28. You want the context, right? Surah 928. I've got it here. You, you open it. Hold on, hold on. So, what's your name again? Daniel. Daniel, Daniel, for the verse that we said, we're condoning, so yeah, killing an innocent life is impermissible in Islam. It's just a No, 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 brother. But have you brought, have you brought brother. the verse that we're killing one man is like in the whole of humanity? Have you not brought that? I just read it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah your you brother here, yeah. your brother here tried to, tried to say that's for Muslims. That's right. Okay. That's for not, that's not for you, that's for children of Israel. Do you know how in the Quran it says, oh, children but, of Israel? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Are you children of Israel? Are you children yeah, of Israel? Are you, are, you children are you children of Israel? Hold are you children of Israel? No, 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 chill, chill. Exactly, that's in the Talmud. He's right. Okay. He's right. That's in the Talmud. Surah 532 is in the Talmud. The Quran got it from the Talmud. The next verse, Surah 533, 34 to 38, is for you. Violence. Cut their hands off and crucify them. Where's that? Go, go to Surah 5. Yeah. Read Surah 533. You love to quote Surah 532 as if Islam is peaceful. Don't lie to people. And I'm not saying you are lying, but people are doing this. That's context for you right there. You can read up to uh, verse 38. Have, have you seen uh, Ali Dawa? I don't think he's here today. He's here today. He's supposed to be here. Did he say he was coming? Yep. He wanted to debate me exactly on what I'm talking about now. So can you read it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of that, we decreed upon so, the children of Israel. Israel. It's got nothing to do with Muslims. Soul, unless for a soul or for corruption in the land, as if it's slain mankind entirely. Yep. And whoever saves one, as if it saves mankind entirely. Yep. Yeah? Our messengers are certain, had certainly come to them with clear proofs. Yep. Then indeed many of them after that throughout the land were transgressed. Yeah? So, who would the messengers come to? And they come so <laughs> Continue, no, continue, no, no, bro. No, 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 no. Continue, bro. Focusing on 33. No, 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 no. Can't yeah. Context, remember. This is context. Read 33. Yes. Read it. Those that wage war against Allah and His messengers, uh -huh. on earth to cause corruption, uh -huh. they'll be killed or crucified or their hands cut off. Uh -huh. as the disgrace in this world and the hell uh -huh. great punishment. Okay. That's, That's for Muslims. Can I go back now? No problem. Can I go back? Explain. Now, who did the messengers come from? Sorry? Just, had the messengers come just for the children of Israel? What messengers? The messengers of Allah that have come down, who would they come for? Okay, Surah 532 clearly says, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, children I'm not, of Israel. Okay, okay, it starts saying, with that. I'm not saying that. I'm saying the messengers of Allah, who had they come for? Which, which one? All of them. Which one? Jesus, them Jesus came for all mankind. Jesus came for all mankind? Yeah. Is that and he's not the messenger of Allah. He's not the messenger he is of Allah. God himself, so that's different. Based on your religion and not mine. Yeah, of course. I haven't, I haven't claimed that he is God. Of course. But, I claim that he's a but you're, you're diverting now, you know that. No, I'm not. Have I'm you, not. Have you, have you seen not. his diversion? Slowly, no, no diversion. slowly you're diverting. My point here is, this verse is for the children of Israel. Your verse to Muslims, condones violence. You haven't even read it properly. You, you, you it just properly. skimmed read it. No, no, no. 33 to 38 is for you. For 38. 33 to 38 is for Muslims. 32, this okay. is found in the Talmud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Quran got this from the Talmud. Which evidence for that? In the, it's in the Talmud. Can you show me. I don't have the Talmud with me. I don't have the Talmud with me. 
That's why. That's why it says we decree this for the children of Israel. It's very clear. I don't think I can make my point any clearer than this. Any clearer than this. It's very clear. Let's read what 34 says. Accept yes. those who repent yes. before you capture them and that Allah is all forgiven, all merciful. Yes. So I have to repent yes. and believe in Allah for you not to cut my hand off, for you not to crucify me and for you not to slay me. That's what it says. Don't say no when your Quran says yes. Where does it say that? Oh does it link Lord. it? Does it link it? No, 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 no. no. Sometimes I get tired, bro. You can laugh, you can laugh, I don't care. 533 is connected to 534. Except those who return. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So if I don't return, what happens to me? It's saying, so you're given the opportunity to repent, no? Sorry? You're given the opportunity to I repent. I don't want to believe in Allah. I don't want to. What happens to me? If I don't want to believe in Allah, what happens to me? So you claim all these verses, yeah? Sorry? All the ones about five where you see them, things like that. You if I don't believe them. in Allah, yes. what happens to me according to what you just read? Not just that verse though, you can't base it on just that verse. Why do you base it on just that verse? <laughs> there you go, that's it. He said it. But your he Bible said it. says the same thing, no? Does your Bible not say the same thing? Okay, let's keep reading. All you who have faith, be weary of Allah and seek the means of recourse to Him and wage jihad in his way so that you may be felicitous. Indeed, if the faithless possessed all this on the earth, as much of it, beside to redeem themselves with it, the punishment on the day of resurrection, it shall not be accepted from them and there is painful punishment for I'm reading Surah 5, 36. I will, I will explain that to you. They, they would long to leave the fire, but they shall never leave it and there is a lasting punishment for them. It's funny that you're not interested in what I'm reading, something that concerns I'm you. I'm asking you where you're reading. That's what Surah 5, 33 to 38. Last verse. Okay. And as for a thief, yes. man or woman, cut, cut their hands off as a recruiter for what they have earned. This is an ex exemplary punishment from Allah and Allah is almighty or wise. Now 39. But whoever repents, it's, re it's debunking you, you know that. Whoever repents, so if I don't repent, you cut my hand off. If you don't, if whoever repents after his wrongdoing and reforms, then Allah shall accept his repentance. Indeed, Allah is all forgiven and all merciful. Why would you not repent for a wrongdoing though? My brother, my brother. Why would you not repent for my brother, a wrongdoing? My brother, wait, wait, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. It says, it says, repent and accept Allah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah? From 33, it talks about you repenting and accepting Allah. From 36 to 39 talks yes. about thieves. Yes. Yeah. So there are different contexts there we're yes. talking about. Yeah. That's what I'm the first one yes. has to do with your belief. If you don't believe in Allah, crucify him, slay him, and cut his hand off. Do you agree with that? If you repent, unless you repent. It, yeah. If you don't repent, that's what happens to you. That's do you agree with that? That's what it says. Yeah. You agree with that as a Muslim? Yes, yes or no? Yes. That's all I want. Okay. And then. Now we look at the concept of thieves. Yeah. No, no. I, I didn't finish. Yeah. Concept of thieves. Yeah. Go yes. on. Okay. What okay. do you want to say? Would you? Would a thief not repent for his wrongdoing? No. Uh, a thief. Yes. It depends who he is. He might be hard-headed. He doesn't want to repent. But a moral God, a moral God, is all forgiving. He's all forgiven, but he doesn't cut his hand off, brother. He gives him time to repent. Oh, if you don't repent, oh, cut your hand off. It doesn't Come on. Where's the time frame? Where's the time frame? Time frame? I didn't say time frame. You I didn't give you time frame. Immediately, your hand is cut off. I didn't say. It. Moral God I said, time yeah, if you don't accept Allah. That's what it says. That's it not says me. Repent. Repent. After his wrongdoing. Okay. Those are the exact words. Repent after his wrongdoing. Why is violence involved? Okay, where, where? Where? It's meant to be He deserves it. He deserves it. No, so this is this would so under, sh under Sharia law, this is what would happen, right? Yeah. Under Sharia law. This is what happens. Yeah? This is what happens. Okay. Now we compare that to what Jesus said to do to our enemies. In Matthew chapter 5, Jesus said. Love your enemies. Pray for them who despitefully use you and who persecute you. No, 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 no. Jesus said to cut their hand off. Did he say that? Or did he, said, he said crucify them. No, he got crucified for them. That's what happened. But you're crucifying the person. That's wrong. Morally, it's wrong. That's why Jesus said, accept him, otherwise you're ending up in hell. Jesus talked about Muhammad in Matthew chapter 24 as a false prophet that he's going to come. Yes, he did. There will be more. He said many false prophets will come, and that was Muhammad is one of them. How do you know Muhammad is one of them? Because he came and he. 
contradicted he Jesus. No, he didn't. He did. No, Jesus said, I'm going to die on the cross. Muhammad said he didn't die. That's a contradiction. Jesus History say, says Jesus is going to die. Say, I am going to die on the cross. Yes. Where? So if I show you that Jesus said he's going to die. Jesus himself said it. Yeah. What are you going to say? What are you going to do? In what, in what book? In the Bible. In the Bible. Where about? Yeah. I know what he's going to say. No, 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 no. Oh, who said this? Uh, is it John? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it Luke? Yeah. Is it Matthew? Where were they? Where were they? Uh, who's the other one? Is it? Is it? Is it? Where were they? Where were they? What's their second name? Who are, this is the typical question they have. Every time. What's his second name? Uh, where was he born? What shoes were they? You can't answer that though. Exactly. What, what shoes were they wearing? If that, if that is the case, I can answer I can answer the same question about Surah 5. Who wrote Surah 5? It's word of Allah. Who wrote it? Who wrote it down? Who wrote it down? Not that I know. To my knowledge, I don't know. So you don't know? <laughs> to my knowledge. Well, so it's funny know. that. It's funny that there's a double standard with Muslims. There's no double standard. I just said so to hold my on, knowledge, hold on, I don't know. What's this? What's this? In, the in Luke, why does it say this? I just said to my knowledge, I don't know. Wait, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> calm down. <laughs> yeah, you said love that enemy. What's this? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. Can you not? Can you not? Can you not change topics? No, you claim he's changing a topic. I thought you wanted me to show you from the Bible where Jesus said that. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to show you. I was about, I was about to say Surah 18. You know. Exactly. I'll, I'll read from Luke. Listen, yeah. Brother, what's your name again? Muhammad. Muhammad, yeah. Listen to what Jesus said in Luke 18, 31 to 33. Jesus took the twelve aside and told them. Red letters is what Red Jesus letters. said. Yeah, yeah. We're going up to Jerusalem and everything that is written by the prophets about the Son of Man will be fulfilled. He will be delivered over to the Gentiles. They will mock him, insult him, spit on him. They will flog him and kill him. On the third day he will rise again. This is Jesus talking about himself. And then Muhammad came six, seven hundred years later and he said, no, he didn't die in Surah 4157. Now that's a contradiction. Where he wrote, where he wrote this? Yeah, you see that? <laughs> what, 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 see that? No, the, it was a predicted question, you know that? It was a predicted question. Luke, Luke wrote it. Luke wrote it and he got it from the eyewitnesses. First century. First century. It was the first century. So did he Canonized in the early second century, written in the first century. You heard Jesus say it. Sorry? Matthew yes. and John. Look, who heard Jesus say it? The twelve disciples. The twelve yes. aside and told them. The twelve disciples heard it. And they and they that was their that was the eyewitness testimony, yes? Yeah. So they, That's an eyewitness testimony. Yes. So they told they told Luke that and then Luke wrote that down. Yeah. Sorry? Here, yeah, here's the evidence. He took the twelve aside and he told them. That's it. That's here's the evidence. That's what it says. Read Luke how he compiled it. He says he was writing for He was yeah, he was writing for Theophilus. I mean uh just say kind Yeah, who wrote that down? Who wrote what? Five three three. Surah five thirty three. Who wrote it down? You don't know. So so Muhammad, Muhammad, Muhammad. Well, I'm gonna come to your point. Muhammad. Why is there a double standard, no double standard. with the Muslims? I just said you don't know who wrote 533. To my knowledge, now me when I'm telling you who wrote Luke, you're like, what's his name? What's his second name? What, did what shoe was he wearing? No, you didn't ask no, no, me that. No, I'm just I'm exaggerating. Saying, but saying, but can, it doesn't make sense. I'm Do you, you get it? We can both ask each other these questions. But I just don't have the answers for you. You might have the answers for me. You understand? Honest, I'm saying you're, you're yeah, allowed. Yeah. At least he is, yeah, which is you're good. You're allowed yeah. to ask those questions to me. I'm allowed to ask those questions to you. That's my plan. That's fine. And but I answered that question to you. I'm just saying, to my knowledge, I don't have the answer to your question. That's fine. I'm saying you're allowed to answer. No problem. And I'm saying to you, that's my answer. Jesus said he's going to die. Muhammad denied it. Muhammad is a false prophet. Jesus is right. Based on the Bible. Yeah, of course. Just what's your what's your what's your well, question? Well, well, Omar, Omar, wait. You need to get in the queue. You need to get in the queue. Here, what's next? What what is it you wanted to dispute? Bring it forth because it's open a whole do uh, a whole new door of an argument. I'll go down the room and then just like him, I'm gonna be honest. It may bring up may bring up questions that I don't know the answer to. So well, but you now, said something though. I know. No, I tell you what. For now, I'm not so gonna. You're, go so you're going back, yeah? All right. I am because I also I promise you, I'm on call. But we will be back every week and then maybe every week, yeah. Okay, bring that. 
perfect. But we will bring it back. We're, we're here. Back. We're here next week. All right, cool. Absolutely nice to meet you, man. Okay. Take God bless you. Take God bless you. So to wrap up, we read Surah 9, 29, Surah 9, 1, 1, 1, Surah 9, 73, I think. And then we also read Surah 5 to show that Islam condones violence. And Islam condones those people who don't repent and accept Allah to cut their hands off and to crucify them. This is very clear in Islam. These Muslims, they were okay. They weren't bad. They weren't heckling. I think they, they tried to understand what I'm saying. And then they asked me where in the Bible does it say Jesus died on the cross? And I showed them that Jesus said he was going to die and resurrect on the third day. So Jesus said that. Muhammad came in Surah 4157 and denied his death and resurrection. So who is the false prophet here? Muhammad, of course. And that's why we're saying Jesus Christ has no problems. He's the way, the truth and the life. Come to know who he is and accept him today and repent from your Islamic religion. God bless you.